Hey, what's happening guys? Steve Maeda with TSL Live Q&A. This one, we are talking about the friend zone. This is a very cool story of where this, where this one came from. It's actually from a guy named Pedro, and he told me, uh, basically, I don't speak any English. He's, he's from Portugal. And uh, como vai? Uh, tudo bem? Uh, eu falo um pouco de português, pero... Uh, uh, <laughs> Fido English. So uh, I probably screwed that up, but I speak very little Portuguese and um, uh, sorry about that. My accent probably sucks, but we're going to go with this. And this is a question that I get a lot. In fact, we have a, a couple Bang Radio episodes. Check that out. Bangradio.net or on iTunes, Bang Radio, Stitcher. Give it some likes, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But about the friend zone and getting out of it. And it's just such a common question that I get. And I'll I'll probably actually end up making a couple videos of this. Um, But he basically says um, through Google Translate. So this, this might be a little bit shaky. He says, hey, I met a woman at my job. And uh, she was up and I invited her out and she was with a friend. So I was with her friend. And her friend was the queen bee, so the the head honcho. Cool, that translated well. And then was able to isolate the target her. And I tried to ask if she wanted to date me. And she said that she did not know, but thought I would be uh, just a friend and ended up falling into the friend zone. Uh, She hardly speaks to me. And now there are some parties in my town and she was next to me. And or she was around or in that environment, I assume. And uh, at work, asked another guy, and not me, to go. Whoa! Don't know what to do. What should I do at this point? And uh, to leave the friend zone and get her look. I'm going to be straight with you, man. I really like your feedback. I really, and this is what it's about, man. This is all about being able to live and connect with women in a uh, man in a very positive, healthy way. And right now, like a lot of guys who tell me, and they're like, man, how do I get out of the friend zone? And usually it's a situation where some time has passed, man, you, you're speaking from a point of desperation. You're not speaking from a point of masculinity. And actually let's throw out that word masculinity because there's so many connotations of the image that has to be fulfilled with it. You are not speaking from a point of true self-expression. You are not speaking from a point of sex, of socializing, and from somebody who is fluid in those areas. You're speaking from somebody who is starved in those areas. And the fact of the matter is, is that you're... Man, even if you did know some tricks to have sex with her, to get her to open up to, and you, you, maybe you could, and I'll give you some stuff to try and I'll give you some stuff to live by so that you don't have this happen again. But man, look in this situation, stop trying to go for her. And I tell this to guys all the time, uh, when they're, when they're caught up in one girl, when they want advice on one singular girl. When you just, if you could just learn the techniques to do that. And, you know, I've, I've been there too, man. You know, when I can't get that girl, I start chasing and I start molding myself and augmenting myself for, towards her. And it's just not a good place to be. And it's usually a place where you just need to walk away and stop it. Okay. And that's the best thing that you can do for your sanity, for your overall sexual development, social development. And if you're in, and it sounds like you're into the, the pickup PUA sort of stuff, which is totally cool, man. You know, there's plenty of good things about it. Nothing wrong with learning how to meet women. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Don't let anybody ever tell you that. Just go about it the right way. There's not too much information on that. But um, man, in that sort of sense, if you want to achieve a high level of socializing, social dynamics, pick up, whatever, you're never going to get there with this mentality of changing yourself for somebody else. Okay. So let me tell you some things that can work and some things that you could do. All right. I don't know many specifics. Uh, I know there's a big language barrier and we emailed back and forth a little bit. Um, You know, I'm sorry. Maybe we should have gone to a few more specifics. Uh, When did this happen? How much time has passed? Look, if it's been a couple of days or if it's been, you know, four or five days, maybe, then you still have a little bit of a chance. If this was two weeks ago, if this was a month ago, man, let it go. Let her make those decisions. She could come back around and your best chance at getting her to come back around would actually be letting it go living your life, you know, stop, you know, manufacturing all this shit like jealousy or whatever the hell it is, or DHVs in order to win her back, let her go. Let her make that choice, man. You, I'm telling you, 
that that's some that's some hardcore bomb ass stuff when we get into the higher levels of it um letting people go very influential thing but basically um if you are within that kind of five day period or this maybe happened quite recently it all comes down to what it's going to come down to for the rest of your life three things the three things that will get you out of the friend zone and they could still get you out of the friend zone now but it would probably push her away rather than draw her into you which is what you want is intent isolation and escalation okay those three things are the absolute key to you uh man going for what you want and think about it in life don't think about it in sex if you want to get in better shape you need to isolate yourself you need to isolate that situation in your life you need to make time for it to either exercise or go on a diet or whatever but you need to specifically focus on that you also need to have the intention and move forward towards things like when i first started to get in shape i don't want to go off too much of a tangent i started out with some things that i would never do now but it moved me in that right direction. Our want and our pursuit of our want gets us on the journey and the path that will lead us to what will be fulfilling for us. So don't be afraid to go for your wants. The intent is huge. And escalation is just moving forward in a singular direction. So how that all translates into seduction or into this situation is you need to show her with every sense of your communication, body language, eye contact, facial expressions, verbals, that you want her and you want her in that way. And I actually congratulate you for a uh, man basically uh, uh, telling her that you wanted to date her, you know, and even though her friend was around, but you need to say that and you did. And now she's pushing you back a little bit. And I'll tell you that maybe in that social dynamic situation, that's where you could have cleaned things up or had the highest amount of leverage. Now, uh, how do we do that? Start standing a little bit closer, start having a little bit more eye contact with people. You know, when they talk to you, show a facial expression back that you like it. So they're giving you something. Sex and seduction is about this exchange, right? Socialization is about this exchange. But intent and sexual feelings and urges that we could get a little bit of a spark and grow into a massive communication are going to come from those little things like that. Show yourself. Show you want her. Like I said, stand a little bit closer. Use your center line to project towards her, right? Also, when she talks, look at what she's saying. Laugh at it. Enjoy it. Play with it. Flirt with it. Get turned on by it. Get excited about it. But have that build the exchange and communication and connection that you guys have with one another. Um, Talking-wise, you know, that one of the best things that we can learn about our verbals with intent is learn to express who we are. You know, we talked in the last one, we talked about the identity workbook, express who we are and be able to elicit what they value. If I can do that, if I can say, hey, you know, I'm Steve, I, I work with people, I love working with people, I've done it for the past 10 years and it's one of my passions, but how do you have a passion like that? You know, what is that for you? And if I can get her to truly express and show what that is, that is my window for true emotional intent. If I can talk to somebody and say, hey, look, man, I want to know what, how you really live. And they're like, man, it's too deep of a question. I just met you. And I said, well, look, no, nah, don't worry about that. You know, for me, I love working with people. It's, it's a huge part of my life. It, it defines so much of me. And like, you know, what do you do in your daily life that's like that? I, I really want to know. If we can get the skill to elicit that in a short amount of time with somebody, and it sounds like you had more than that, we can say, man, that is so attractive about you. And intent verbally is not just hey, yeah, that's cute. That's attractive. You know, that's really hot. That's really sexy. It's actually saying, hey, you know what? Look, I want to see more of you. Like what you said and how you think is a beautiful, that's, that's amazing. That's awesome. That's one of the most attractive things that I've seen. Like, you know, we're, we're at a cafe or we're with your friend or we're in this situation. How, how can I see you and just see you? Because that's what I want. Give me your number. You know, give me your email address, whatever it is, and go from there. Uh, man, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I'm going to put you a link to a Bang Radio episode, which will tell you a lot more about intent, um, the escalation, and the different levels of uh, 
of or how to isolate uh, the very simple things, but they're, they're skills that if you can do, if you isolate alone, you might end up in rapport via situation, you might end up in seduction via situation. If you learn to start stating intent and showing intent with your body and with everything, not just your verbals, not just your, your body language, but your touching, uh, your eye contact, uh, your tonality, all that sort of stuff. If you work on your overall communication with intent, you'll, you're going to learn a lot. And, of course, as always, anybody who sent something in, I got to give something to you. Uh, you're somebody that I know has not signed up for the Better Man's Guide. And, man, <laughs> like, uh, we'll make a uh, Portuguese translation maybe in a few years. But more, uh, so- hopefully sooner than that, we'll do a, uh, a Spanish translation. And you also said you could speak Spanish. So hopefully uh, we could work on that with you. But I'll send you that for you. And hopefully uh, you can get started in learning from stuff with the Better Man's Guide. Um, definitely, man, I really appreciate the question. Keep emailing me. I know I gave a little bit of a hard response. But, man, you got don't do what you're doing. You got to stop that. You got to move past that. Don't live in a point of desperation and move in a point of of absolute expression of yourself. Never be ashamed of who you are. Never think that if you like somebody, that the road to liking them is changing yourself. The road to liking them is amplifying who you are and being better at showing that to them, putting that in front of them, and then eliciting a deep part of them and seeing if those two things mix. If we can do that, man, I guarantee you, you're going to have a very fruitful and fulfilling sexual life. And man, you're going to be a lot happier and have a lot better results than most of the people not doing that, which is far too many. All right. Thank you so much. Email me if you have any other other questions. Uh, Man, I love doing this. I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't get questions from you guys. And uh, man, just let's keep it going. TSL, Steve at The Sexual Life. Talk to you guys soon.